I want that copper nugget. Oh, gosh. You know what? Two can play at that game. Let me just take that copper nugget from over here. Oh, I didn't kill it? No, I killed one, and there's another behind it. Is this one Kindle Thumbed? No, this one's just regular. In fact, I'll just fire at it with my rifle. Uh, fine, reload. We're fine where we are. Okay. Now I can just wait for that fire to go out, I think. Or no, it's asphalt, isn't it? I better beat it out. <laughs> uh, fight fire. All right, good. It's out. Things are dying. Let's take the vine wafer. Um, I guess I'll just fire this thing. Okay, good. Is there anything I can pick up around here? No. Let's flaming ray this dude. Very dead. We are on fire. Let me put out my companion. Let's put out ourselves. Oh, can I move? Yeah, let me move away from the salt. Uh, wait. I, I can't... No, there we go. I can try to beat it out ourselves. Yeah, let me, let me dump some water on us. I think that's the best thing. Um, pour it on ourselves. How about ten? That did it. What is what is this? Dilute salt. Okay, it's not water anymore. Cool. Um, okay. So, Robert says, do you have charge? We do not yet have charge. I know charge synergizes with wings, right? I don't think we yet have it. It's a tactic? It is a tactic. We could get it, um, but no, we don't have it yet. Um, Quella says, flaming ray until you can't. Then wings until it's 0% fall chance. So you think we should just keep upping Flaming Ray until it's level 10? Could. Makiash says, wouldn't it be good to up wings with Excited Genome, or whatever it's called? Otherwise, it will take some serious levels. Yes, although I think it's not until level... It's either level 15 or 20 that that'll happen again. So it'll be a, quite a while before that happens. Um, Robert says, and Stinger... We do have... Oh, it, and it synergizes with Stinger, too. I see. Charge synergizes with Stinger. Um, okay, these are all good points. All good points. Don't think we have a consensus yet. Let me just... Eh. Okay. What is this? Sap? A sugary tarred salt. Whoops. Flaming hands. Uh, this tar can be on fire. That's fine. Oof. Um, I don't like being on fire, but I also want you to die. Oh, wait. What's next to me? Steel arrows. No. Fight the fire. Um, I guess we'll dump a little... We are kind of hurt here. Let's dump a little uh, salt water on ourselves. Maybe just two. Two drams? Is that enough? It is not enough. There we go. Oh, oh. Glow white cultist of Agglegut. I don't like how hurt we are. Uh, I don't think these things have psionic attacks, right? No. Is it close enough I can flaming ray it? Yes. Let's try it. Let's, let's get away. <laughs> I want to take these things. Ah, uh, young ivory. All right, let's see if we can heal up here. Okay, good. It didn't see us. 
Yeah, because we we have night vision, and it 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 just happened to be where there was light. Um. Okay. I do have flaming ray back. I don't think this thing is too scary actually for us. Oh, actually, did we kill it? I don't know if we kill it, but it died. Yeah, the human corpse. It is dead. Okay. Oh gosh, <laughs> I got, I got scared. Uh, aha, a Gershling. Not too worried about the Gerslings. Trying to put ourselves out here. Okay. How are we doing on damage? Oh, we confused it. That's nice. 45 XP. Um, our armor value is really not good. And that's why we keep taking so much damage. I think we need better armor. Um, I was actually looking at... <laughs> I, I don't pay too much attention to armor value at versus like penetration, and I really should. Um, so the way it works... It's, it's really interesting, like, the formula that goes into attacking. So, like, a, a melee weapon, like our Flaming Iron Longsword. Let's take that. You can see it has a penetration of 5. That's what that little blue arrow means. And I think, if memory serves, it's a little complicated. That, um, you roll that against someone's armor value. And if it succeeds... You get to roll twice more. If it succeeds three times, it's a critical hit. And the critical hit damage, which I think is how many how many extra dice you roll, if memory serves, is what your penetration value is. So every penetration value gives you extra damage dice uh, in under some circumstances, which is super powerful. Penetration value is very powerful. Um, and our flaming iron longsword does not have a lot. We don't. We haven't found a lot of great weapons. Our Chris has a really high penetration value, but it's a short weapon, so we're not going to hit as often with it, which is why we only have it in our right hand. We really want a better longsword. Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I should be putting the Chris in our main hand. Whoops! Get off of this. Get off. Let me shoot this thing. Good. Um, Robert says, I would say keep the genome for something else. Wings take level 6 for 0% fall chance. Genome makes things like Carapace or Flaming Ray even better past level 10. Level Flaming Ray for that sweet damage. Quella says this game's need an alert mode for hostiles like Cataclysm. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Especially with Auto Explore, which is still, in my opinion, kind of broken, which is why you don't see me using it a lot. All right, I think, I think enough people have said Flaming Ray, and I don't disagree. We're going to mutate this thing. Wings is nice for certain situations. Yeah, but the damage is super nice. Because we don't have... Yeah, I think this is, this is the way to go. 10 to 8 for melee attacks heating opponents. Yeah, I mean, this also synergizes with our, like, multiple attack, right? Because if we get someone on fire with this thing, then every attack we do heats the opponent more. Is that my, is that right? Is my understanding of that correct? So, yeah. Okay. That's a lot of asphalt here in the way. And I just know we're going to see a, another flaming seed spitter. Kindle Thumb Seed Spitter here. There's no great way to get rid of asphalt, I don't think. All right, we made it. Some graffiti. Soaking wet, empty chest. I don't know what that means. Wait, is this a corpse? It, it or it's bones, right? No items. want to get these things. Take the steel arrow. Take the steel arrow. Okay. It's 
get into the water here if we can. Oh, is this... I'm still stuck in the water? Interesting. Alright, there we go. We're fine now. Okay, we're going down the canal. Which is always in Red Rock. There's always a canal here. On this level. I think always on this level. A jewel-encrusted staff. I'll take you. Should be able to kill this thing just fine. Yep. Okay. Now the queen can help us. Wet furs. All right. We're all healed up. Is this salty water? Oh, gosh. Nothing here is a problem. What do we have here? Uh, boar skin gloves. Okay, I'll take those. We have gloves on our hands, right? Hands. Yeah, boar skin gloves. And I think the queen does too. No, I don't see gloves. We'll give them to her. Give items. Do, 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 do. Um, should be up here, right? There. Cool. Heal up. Um, oh, see you, Dorkling. Thanks for joining the stream. Um, Yellow Monologue says... Oh, Robert, first Robert says, no, I missed a bunch of comments. Quella says, auto explorer is only good because it stops when it spots mimics. Oh, that's, that's good to know. Robert says, it heats every time. Gila Monologue says, I need to listen to your inner self. What does it say? Fire ray cool, make it strong, <laughs> die trying. Dorkling says, I've got to go by. Mashiach says, see you. Uh, Robert says, if you hit with a weapon that is being held or used by the flaming ray, then you then your heat then your hit hit then your hit heats the opponent it can get hot enough to combust oh quella says also flaming ray penetrates if you line up two or more enemies yes i'll get hit by the flaming ray if you have multiple arms dual wielding skill is very good and we have many arms or many arm like appendages i should appendages i should say Hello, Vine Wafer, Copper Nugget. Eh, I'll take that water skin as well. Death to Snapjaws. Another centipede down there. Come at us. Okay. Should follow the queen. I don't really want to let her out of my sight. Although, where did she go? There she is. We are flanking the Snapjaw uh, warrior. Good. We are hitting with our Chris. Look, we hit four times for eight damage with your Gaslight Chris. Pretty good. I'm curious now. All right, now our Gaslight Chris is very low on its fidget cell. Interestingly, our Flaming Iron Sword uh, is still fresh. But we have another fidget cell to put into the Gaslight Chris when it's out. In fact, I'm going to replace... Well, I'll, let me... Let's kill this uh, Snapjaw. And then uh, sw switch it out. Replace cell with the other fidget cell. And let's put a fidget cell on this frond. We already have two other wooden bucklers. So this third one is just kind of for fun. Let's put a fidget cell here. Excellent. Um, die. <laughs> That's still healed. Okay. 
Uh, Kaguya. Hello, Kaguya. I uh, started playing Caves of Cud yesterday, and I found out the perfect game for me. Found your channel today, and I'm already in love with your channel, with your content. Thumbs up. Thank you very much, Kaguya. That that means a lot. That's that's very nice to hear. Um, okay. Oh, a chameleon. Uh, chameleon should be fine, although we can... Yeah, hit both of these guys. Oh, ho, ho. that it is pretty powerful. I'm really enjoying the flaming hands. Bandage. Maybe we should use studded leather armor. It, it's mine. Another armor value would be nice, but I think we should probably. I just love our armor because it's red, white, and blue. Mepha hind. I can't give that up. I can't give that up. When we find like ring mail or chain mail, then then we'll probably give it up. But in the meantime, I think we're fine. Where did the queen go? Oh, there she is. Hey, bent metal sheet. Tinkering bits. Excellent. Okay. Did we already look in here? Oh, yes. Yeah, a leather armor. Ah, this chest we have not looked in. An engraved leather cap. Gives reputation with the inquisitive devil of Dukashan flock. And it tells about the life of the Sultan Yashid. In 4451 BR, Yashid challenged the legitimacy of the Sultan of Qud over an ordinance prohibiting the practice of taking measurements. She won and seized the gilded scepter. She was 39 years old. All right, well, we'll take it. Small box. Examine that small box. A box of crayons. All right, we'll take it. Uh, does this intersect? It does. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to keep going down the, the uh, waterway. Yeah, we want to be careful. I don't really like these slimes. Uh, can I fire? I'm curious. Can I use flaming ray? We we saw something coming from over here. I'm just gonna like flaming ray this whole area and hope that it hits. Hopefully, it doesn't hit something that's neutral, and hope it hits that flame the uh, seed spitter. Sweet. It did not. Oh, it's a slug snout. Do I flee? Maybe? Four rounds, cool down. Let, let's get out of here. Those things can be super dangerous. <coughs> Cannibal's dead. All right, we're out of range of the slug snout, or it doesn't see us anyway. Okay, let's heal. Let's go back down. Let's come over here. Uh, crab. Uh... Yeah, that'll work. And there's a Nolwurm down there. Queen, where are you? I don't like this. Oh, there's the queen. Okay, good. What did the queen use to attack? Maybe the queen attacked and then it ran up. I don't like the situation being flanked here. Um, I think I'll approach the crab, though, so I can get up. Back into the waterway. Okay, now we can both fight the crab. This is a much better situation. All right, heal up. And now we can both fight the null worm. We'll hopefully get a skull, although we did not. Uh, ooh, we got some crab legs. Yes, please. Jilted lovers give us two XP at this point. Uh-oh, uh, you are a quillipede. Let's flaming ray these guys. All right, now let's attack it. Let's see. 
taking damage. We got hit a little bit. Uh, I don't like being attacked twice here. I am attacking the Quillipede. It is wounded. When do I get Flaming Ray back? Mm. Okay. Great. Cool. Rest all healed. We also need to eat, I'm realizing. Let's make camp. And do we want to cook a specific meal? Oh, um... Yellow Monologue says, Have you ever played Tangle Deep? It's also a dungeon crawler with heavy emphasis on job mixing. I have played Tangle Deep. Um... In fact, recently, like last month, I really tried to like survey a whole bunch of roguelikes I hadn't played before. Tangle Deep was one of them. It was fun. Um, although I'm getting a bunch of them confused, like that one and Adam and Tales of Majeal. Like I'm, I kind of confuse all of them in my head. Um, I can't remember how far I got in Tangle Deep. It was all right. None of them I like nearly as much as like Caves of Cud or DCSS or um cdda but i should give i think maybe some of them i should give a better chance and maybe tangle deep is one of them uh Maquillage says is there any special way one should care about companions keeping them healthy making sure they're regenerating any way to manage them in combat yeah um yeah so always make sure they have water on them that's how you make sure that they are able to heal so if we take a look oh whoops i, I keep thinking that i'm chokes by quick salt um she has a whole bunch of fresh water on her. Always make sure they have fresh water. They need to keep hydrated in order to regenerate. Um, I don't usually use the commands to like direct them to move or stay very often or to attack a specific target, but it does come in handy sometimes. Um, the most important advice I have for companions is make sure you don't use abilities that are going to accidentally turn your companions hostile against you because they will almost definitely kill you. Um, the other thing is that make sure your, uh, your companions don't have abilities that they're going to use willy-nilly that are going to make other creatures hostile towards you or even hurt you, like area of effect spells or spells that like create multiple copies of them spell. I say spells, but abilities that like clone themselves. Uh, these things can be really, really dangerous. Um, Fortunately, our queen here doesn't seem to have any abilities like that. Um, is she cleaved? Yeah, she's cleaved. So she's not super dangerous. Um, this slumberling, I think we want to leave alone. We It is hostile. I, I, I really hope our queen doesn't go attack it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we got, we got scared by the uh, dreadroot. Run. Okay, good. We didn't wake it up. We want to stay away from it. We've been killed by those things in my games before. Uh, we can kill both of these. Hey, Chooks by Quicksalt gained a level. All right, well, I, all right, kill the bear. Get some bear meat. Good. Oh, I never cooked. Um, right. All right, we can choose ingredients. We have a bunch of boar jerky now. Let's use some. And uh, some honey as well. Max HP? But, uh, more max HP. And I think the honey just... The honey always adds this uh, you only get ill for less time effect. And disease resistance. And that's nice. But maybe we stop using honey for a while because it's not the most relevant for us right now. But, um, but it does seem that the boar meat gives us more hit points for the day, which is nice. Oh, actually, also, while we're here, preserve our foods. One serving of crab jerky. Uh, Makia just tr try to, sounds like try to avoid a havoc. Thanks. Yes, absolutely. No worm. Oh, it was uh, afraid. It should be afraid. Oh, we got worm. I didn't realize they gave you worm meat. Take that. Uh, 
who our armor value right now is only two. We've been we've been cracked. Um, our cap is cracked. Our boar skin gloves are cracked. Uh, a little scary. Let's not fight anything that has too high uh, penetration value until our armor is better. And for some, for whatever reason, I don't really understand this mechanic, but armor that's cracked will eventually, like, heal itself. I don't know why. All right, there is a slug snout up here, and maybe that's the sort of thing we should avoid while our armor is cracked. 